Are you looking for Stuttgart military housing? Well, you've come to the right place. I am Daniel, this is DTV, welcome to the channel. Before we get into the home, a quick lay of the land. Stuttgart is split up into five main installations. Robinson Barracks, Kelly Barracks, Stuttgart Army Airfield, Panzer Kasern, and today we are looking at a stairwell home in Patch Barracks. This is a three bedroom, two bath stairwell home. You've got a private balcony, all appliances are included, no private yard, just open green space in the back, 110, 220 volt outlet, Outlets, radiator heating, built-in closets, basement storage, and dedicated parking outside. Let's take a closer look. Welcome to your new family room and dining room. It's actually quite a bit of space inside here. The current rank of this home is an O3 captain, but you'll find all types of different ranks in the stairwell homes to include junior enlisted all the way to field grade officer. As you're thinking about decorating your new home in Germany, keep in mind most of the homes have concrete walls. So you'll need to bring a heavy duty drill or go to self-help on base for free free handyman or woman services such as paint, various tools, and even yellow bags for recycling. By the way, Germany takes their recycling very seriously out here and so should you. My recycling video will show you exactly what to do. Welcome to your private balcony. As you can see across the street, not all homes have private balconies, so if you get one, consider yourself lucky. Also, as I mentioned, you don't have a private backyard, just open green space, but plenty of room for your kids and your pets. Okay, time to make our way into your brand new kitchen. Uh, kitchen sizes are not the biggest here, probably not what you're used to in the United States, but they do come with all the appliances you see here. So that's your oven, your refrigerator, your dishwasher, and you actually have two sinks. I know that sounds a little funny, but most German homes only have one sink. Now, if you're looking at this kitchen and thinking to yourself, how am I going to pack for this small kitchen? Not to worry, I've got a complete guide on how to pack. And not only does it go over your kitchen appliances, but it also goes over the three types of shipments. So that's your unaccompanied baggage, your household goods, and your personal luggage that you bring on the plane. As we're looking at the refrigerator here, keep in mind that the appliances are just about the same in every single home. Also, 110 and 220 volt outlets throughout the entire house. Oh, and curtains can be hung up on on this little track they have above all the windows, but you may need to go buy some specific clips from the PX or from Amazon to make sure that they hang properly. Let's head into the first bedroom. Oh, hey puppy. So going into the bedrooms, one thing to note that all the bedrooms in this home come with radiator heating, built-in closets, and 110 and 220 volt outlets. The floors in the house are either hardwood, tile for the bathrooms and the laundry room, and this thin layer of carpet, which I think they put over concrete. Not the most comfortable thing on the toesies. In the hallway, have some extra storage space for jackets, shoes, and linen towels. And this is your guest bathroom. Ladies, I'm sure the first thing you notice is that lack of counter space. They obviously didn't have you in mind when designing this. However, this is a decent sized bathroom, a dual vanity with a shower and tub combo, plenty of lighting and dual outlets. Here's an extra look at some of the storage space down below. However, my recommendation, bring all your stuff with you, assess the situation when you get here, and if you need more storage space, there's an Ikea about 12 minutes away. Moving on to the laundry room. Nothing too special about the laundry room. The question I often get is should I bring my washer and dryer? I always answer no because this is something the military provides for you. I've been here since 2014 and I've never met a family that's brought their own washer and dryer. So if I were you, I'd sell it or keep it in storage. Moving on to the second guest bedroom, a little bit bigger than the first one. One thing I forgot to mention are these windows in Germany. They're a little funky. They open up two different ways. You can twist the handle up to crack the window open just a little bit or turn the handle horizontally to open it all the way up. Okay, the primary bedroom. Very large space in here. I love the ceiling fan. And wait till you see this closet. Okay, I've filmed a lot of government houses over the years in a lot of different bases, and I've never seen a closet quite like this. Okay, moving into the primary bathroom. The setup is just about the same as the other guest bathroom. There's not a lot of counter space here. Oh, hey, so that's what the camera guy looks like. Anyway, yeah, not a lot of counter space in here. However, there is a towel heater in here as well as a radiator heater. And the one thing I didn't like about this bathroom is the shower is smaller than the guest shower. That is just rude. So that is stairwell housing on Patch Barracks. Before we go, I have three quick 
recommendations for you. Number one, if you are lost, stressed out, or just don't even know where to begin with this move, get my free checklist. It goes over the most expensive and most important items first, and it'll definitely help you build some momentum. Number two, download my free guide, the 30 things you must know before PCS in Germany with the US military. It goes over everything. It's a spider web of information that all connects to each other. And number three, if you don't like reading, I turn that blog post into a free YouTube webinar. All links will be in the description of this video. Oh, and by the way, this is your storage unit downstairs. If you had fun today, subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in the next one.